want to say all praises and honor until you how. But I shame you, shy, but I shame you, Kakadash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shall I want to all the brothers out there pushing this truth in all sincerity and in all honesty? This is the brother from James, you know, I'm Jamaica Cam. Um, Yashamai. Ashar. I war. I know one who I'm, you know, I listen. You know, and, um, you know, new world of righteousness, you know, I get this um, topic from the video that um, Apostle Gabar, you know, um, basically did. Right, because that's what's coming. Right, you have Esau, Edom, which is so-called white man, you know, pushing right now. They accomplish a new world order. But it's going to be a new world order, which is basically going to rule by who? Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Right, the man who people ignorantly called Jesus. Right, that's what's coming. A new world of righteousness. Esau, Edom, which is so-called white man, rules society in wickedness. Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is coming back to set up the earth in total righteousness. Right? Because that's what basically... Or power basically I'll do. Set back the earth in order. Everything I'll basically go back in the right order. Right, you have a scripture, brother. Um, give me um tw Revelation 21. Um this is Revelation 21 and 1. It says, and I saw and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Son. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. Son, because you know, um we are approaching right now, you know, based off of all the moves they make right now, the prophecies that will basically take place without a doubt. We are approaching the third world's war, right? The third world's war, destruction, we are going to basically be what? With nuclear destruction according to what is in the scripture, right? So after this society gets destroyed by, right, by um, nuclear destruction, America get burned by ICBM missile, they are going to be, you know, a total righteous kingdom, right? Says you person, it's uh, John and the highlands of Patmos. You get the vision of all these prophecies to come, right? Same, so, so it says away, my say. Read again, brother, from top. Jerem, uh, Revelation 21 and 1. Says, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And? In for the first, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And? And there was no more sea. And? In? And, say. So, Bring out the epic, brother. Um, Second Peter 3. I can start at verse 10. Second Peter. Second Peter 3. Verse 10. Second Peter 3, verse 10. One. You say, but the days of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. The day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Right, we all who now look to the prophecies and all the things, you know, what the scripture says, we're supposed to look for. You always shy going back 2,000 years ago, so we're supposed to look for. It will catch a lot of people as a thief in the night. Let me say. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, Go on. in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great night. And we're going to cause a great night. These ICV missiles that I speak about, right? With all the countries them are going to shoot off, you know, in America. Right, you already see in Russia. You know, regular in the news now about nuclear threat because ultimately they're going to be a, a nuclear war. Right? So, talking about the ICBM missiles that we're going to use right, in, the, in, the, in the time to come. Go on. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And the elements, so all the tall skyscraper buildings in America, all these pretty places, these pretty lakes, all of them going to melt by these ICBM missile war. Right, thus say the Lord, you are washing your shag one. The earth also and the works that are therein the shall earth. be burned up. So all the what? The works, the earth and the work also shall be basically burned up. So all the, all the madness you know we see happening in the society, right? The filth, all these things are gonna get destroyed in this coming nuclear destruction according to what in um Malachi 4 and verse 1. Right, you say, um yeah. Uh, I'm going to talk Bring it up, brother. Brother, go back to this. Okay, this uh, the book of Malachi 4 and verse 1. Go on. It says, For behold, the day, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, go on. Then, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly, shall be stubble. Go on. So all these proud ass people in America are going to get burned up. Right? Then, go on. Then, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Gone, exactly. 
Right? So all 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 madness of this world is gonna get destroyed. These GMO seeds or hybrid seeds, right? All, all these things that we see happening right now, yo, you're gonna get totally destroyed because we're gonna need we we don't basically want none of these things to use in our kingdom. Either the weaponry, according to what we read in the scripture in Ezekiel. Either the weaponry that basically left back after this third world war, this structure is gonna get destroyed. Because we don't need these things in our kingdom. Right? For kingdom to come. And quick, right? What? Um, second Ezra 7 and verse 42 he says he answered me and said this present life is not the end where much glory do it abide now we can accept right now right there's no glory in this kingdom right he saw he don't rule his kingdom by wickedness right the scripture said in um, uh, Ecclesiastes 25 I believe he said nine things a man are desire yeah and the thing right? that water my mouth and think what a man that see what the fall, fall of his, his enemy, enemy. Yeah. Right? Joy of his children. Yeah. Because we don't have joy for children, children. No matter of fact, you can't find a brother. Because now, even at this time we're living in, we need to have joy for our children. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, because you 25 and 9. Is it? 25 and 7. 25 and 7. It says, Ecclesiastes 25 verse 7. What? It said, There be nine things which I have judged in mine eye, in mine my heart. heart to be happy Can. and the tent will I utter with my tongue Can. a man that had joy of his children a man that have joy of his children we don't really have a joy of our children right now right and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy I know we are seeing the fall of our enemy right before our eyes right now right we see Esau and Edom kingdom are crumbled right before our eyes <laughs> so right? joy to, Can. to come yeah? Can. Yeah. So, so, so our joy because it's know that for once the society get destroyed our kingdom is going to basically build. Out of the dust of this one. Right? Keep us saying, Esau is the end of the world, yeah. and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Yeah, you finish, brother? It's the current events we see at the place cross, cross the whole of Europe and America Can. and all over. Can. I think I all, see the, all, too, the, all the protests and everywhere. You Can. see? You see, we, we know say, hey, the kingdom is a crumble, man. Then, um, he, um, second is a sudden and verse back 42 again. He says, He answered me and said, John. This present life is not the end. Okay. It's, it's not the end where much glory do abide. I said, therefore have they prayed for the weak. Then, but the day of doom shall be the end of this time. The day of doom shall be the end of this time. The end of this wicked society. The end of Esau Edom kingdom. Yeah. The end of all the madness we have to endure day and night in this society. Right? Constantly. The end of all these things. The end of our oppression. Right? Go on. And the beginning of immortality for to come. Go on. According to what written in Corinthians. I think of 1 Corinthians uh, 15. We're going to change from mortality to immortality Go on. in the twinkling of an eye. Right? Go on. Mm -hmm. Our immortality to come, Done. where corruption is past. Where corruption is past, the society, this corrupt society is going to be a, a thing of the past. Go on. Then it says, in, intemperance is at an end, Go on. and infidelity is cut off. Go on. Righteousness is grown, and the truth is sprung up. Go on. Yeah. And the so, truth is pushed every yeah. right now. So that's what we are going to look for a righteous kingdom. Go so righteousness is going to grow, man. Go righteousness is going to come up. The truth. I got always out here right. <laughs> in a kingdom to come. Then, yeah. um, you back to the back to Second Peter three verse, um, verse eleven. You have seen then that all these things shall be dissolved, but man of earth are these in our holy conversation and godliness, God. um, looking far and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat uh, it's a nevertheless we are calling to his promise look for a new look for a new heaven a new, new earth, earth. we're looking for a new heaven a new rulership a righteous kingdom we are calling to his promise we are looking for, we the men of the lord you know we are pushing truth in our sincerity and our honesty looking for a new heaven and a new earth one, we are in dwelling righteousness, we're in dwelling righteousness, righteousness, a righteous kingdom, by, ruled by a righteous leader. One, he said, Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him 
in peace without spot and blemish. Um, blameless. Blame. 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 An election, sure, and if you do these things, you shall never basically fall. Because I'm supposed to, you know, constantly, you know, push it through to Right? So I'm going to come back to that area. Revelation. Yeah, Revelation. Revelation 21. Yeah. Um, Re Revelation 21 and verse 2 now. It says, And I, and I John, saw the holy city, Gone. New Jerusalem, coming down from Yahweh out of heaven. Gone. So John says, saw the new, the new Jerusalem coming down from out of heaven. You know, you have a lot of Christian believers you know, actually uh, 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 and, and, uh, a a a a city are coming down. A big city with big city building and everything. Like sky high, movie sky yeah. high. That's yeah. a lot of people believe. They talk about you know, um, the Yilek. Right. Right. They can bring out something for my brother. Um, Second Maccabees um, 5 and verse 19. Second Maccabees 5 verse, verse 19. 19. Gone. It said, never, um, nevertheless, Gone. Yahweh did not choose the people for the place to stay. Gone. But the place for the people's what, what? sake. For the place what, what? The place for the people's sake. So Jerusalem is a people before it become a place. Right? So what we basically, you know, cause you know the elect forget, you know, um, get brought up to brought up to the heaven. The scripture tell us. In um, Psalm 91, right, when, when um, these ICBM missiles shoot off, you know, on the land of America, you see a thousand are going to basically die at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but you shall not come nigh thee. So they're going to get beam up out of the fire, out of the nuclear destruction fire. And, you know, and afterward, the house, you know, and the elect, they're going to come back down and the earth and set back the earth in order. God. And all these niche, all these Edomite and all these nation in them bunkers they're gonna get dig out of them bunkers you know and chew into slavery right so if I say they are chewing a hole and after chewing a pit and after many days they're gonna get bit they might get visited to get to work Gun. right the first job is for bury the dead bodies right give me a second no brother are they finished no 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 right, we'll um, to that. it says I'm um, coming down from from Yahweh out of heaven prepared as a bride Gun. a dawn for her husband, God. I, 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 well, Israel is like what? A, um, a woman unto the most high. Zin, like unto a woman, a comely and delicate woman. So basically, at the, at the bride, it, the elect of the bride at the, at the heavenly father, man. Yahushai. Yahushai, bride of Yahushai, yeah? Zin. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, God. the tabernacle of, of, of God, God is with men. God. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. Right. And, and God Himself shall be with them and be with their and be their God. Right. Be their power. Right. It says, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Right. Exactly. So scripture say the how about Shemir shall power go wipe away all tears from our eyes. Right? All the things that we be as I mentioned we are going through right now are come to an end. Right? The suffering and the pain we are feeling, you know, in the society, all these things are come to an end. Fifth one. Yeah, it says on um, and God shall wipe away their tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, Can? neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. Gone. Yeah. Exactly. So all these things are going to come at the past. Go on. Then, it says, And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all these things new. I make all things new. Go back to the Greek, Kainos. Yeah. When we are refreshed. Make a fresh. Go on. Yeah. Lord, you have to you have to reset this. You have Esau, you, know, you, know, you know, a call shrub, you know, a plan in a great reset. Yahweh shall just use his men enough you know, basically to do all these things to fulfill prophecy according to what written in Job um, 20 and 22 okay. in the fullness of his sufficiency because you're going to be a great reset you how shall you how about Hashem shall reset set back everything in order because everything out of place right now according okay. to what written in Psalms 82 and 5 so the whole hurt is out of course so you how about Hashem shall going to basically you know set back everything in order you right okay. get rid of majority Right, purge the nation of Israel according to the number written in Zechariah um, 
um, 13 and verse 8. So you know all the land, two part mm. area shall be cut, cut off, off and die, which is the land of America. And a third shall be left to go through the fire. fire. So majority of people are going to get destroyed in this coming destruction. We are approaching right now. Right? Sin. And, Sin. And, and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Gone. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are, are true and faithful. So the word of your living father is not true and faithful. Right? This is uh, Zephaniah 3. What? This is Zephaniah 3 verse 19. It said, Behold, at that time will I undo all that. All that afflict thee, Gone. and I will save her that halted, and uh, um, and gather her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to a sh Gone. To shame. So you have Hashem and Shem give us praise and fame in every land we put to shame because you know we put put to shame, you know, by these these Edomites, these so-called white people, things that we, we go through. You know, and basically rulership of these men. Can. Right? Even um, out in Jamaica in the Caribbean, you have what you're going to call them, buck breaking, where, where he saw Edom do to you know, people. Right? So people say, You have a shame, I say, give us praise and fame in every land we put to shame. Right? Give us a name. Go on. Finish. Um, uh, right, go on, I say, 1 and 25. And I will turn my hand upon thee. Go on. And and purely purge away thy dross and take away all thy tin. And I will restore thy judges as at the at the first. So, and starting with the 144,000 will basically be what the government body rule the kingdom to come, which is our kingdom. Right? Two judges. You can't buy out. You know, in, the, you know, in this society you now, we're living there right now, these leaders, them, easy, them, them can't basically buy out. Right? They don't really have no you know, standard like you know, back in the nation time. It's all about money. So if you have money, you can buy them out. Right? Majority of them. Right? Mm -hmm. But these, these two judges where you have a shimmer shall rise up. He saw he don't can basically you know, buy them out. You. Right? So people say, Lord, you have a shimmer shall say, I'm going to restore judges. And two judges. Mm -hmm. Right? Two judges of the nation are Israel. Right? Go on, brother. As on. at the first. Go on. And the counselors, as at the beginning. Go on. Afterwards, thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, Gun. the faithful city. Gun. So, you yeah, have a build, right? The nation of Israel, but right now, right Gun. before we eyes. And it, right? says, um, it, says, it says, Zion shall be redeemed with judgment, Gun. and her converts with righteousness. Gun. Gun. Right? Tobit 13 verse 16 Gone. For Jerusalem shall be built up with supplier Gone. So Jerusalem is going to be built up So our, our, our kingdom is going to be basically uh, built up right, By Esau and Edom right? Because you know we, our, our people right, So called Negroes, Latinos and Native American Indians They want to work and build this wicked society we live in right now A rule by so called white man We want to work and build this Starting our four parents from them time they're coming up Right, so these nations are going to build our kingdom. They're going to work and build our kingdom. Right? Give me an Isaiah 14, brother. Before I make it better, go back to this. 14 and verse 1. This is Isaiah 14 and 1. Go on. It says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Which is the land of Israel. Right, from the river Nile to the river Euphrates, our land. Right, fertile crusade, go on. And the stranger shall be joined with them. So I'm talking about the Israelite foreigners because, you know, according to the curse, I do try me, um, 28 and 64, so the Lord has kept us from one end of the earth even to the other. Yeah. And there, our people are going to serve other gods because we've been scattered amongst all these nations. You have our people, right, um, look like these Eden nations are scattered amongst. Right, so they will come back to the folio. Right, go on, brother. In um, shall be joined unto them, God. and they shall be, and they shall, shall cleave to the house of Jacob, God. and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, God. and the house of Israel shall possess them God. in the land of the Lord God. for servants 
and un and unmade Gone. and they shall take them captives whose captives they were Gone. Who, 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 who basically bring our four parents into captivity right he saw Edom which is so called white man so the scripture says they shall take them captives whose captives, captives they, they were. were so we're going to take them captives who captives be basically were right now Gone. and they shall rule over their oppressor so we are going to rule over the oppressor right we're not going to basically you know um Live, you know, alongside the um, Edomites, right? Like, like where we live right now, you know, and them, you know, like equality. There's yeah. no equality with us in the kingdom with these dead nations, but but right in a, in a freedom kingdom today, we, 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 we know equality, we, we know, they look for as equal to them, right, but Jacob, are equality yeah, with Jacob them, equality, God, Zin, why, 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 we, we don't want to be above them, God. them, 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 like the rulership power, them, um, see to them in a now, they have a yeah. white privilege, yeah, right. So we are going to rule over oppressors. Back to that scripture, brother. So these nations are going to build our kingdom. Right, go on. Right, verse 6, to be 13 and 16 again. Go on. So for Jerusalem shall be built up with God. fire and God. emeralds God. and precious stones. And precious stones. So our kingdom is going to basically be a glorious kingdom. Right, we're not going to have a, um, a building like what Isa Edom um, use, you know, in the society. So if I tell you the things them, we are going to basically use to build our kingdom. Right, go on. Thy walls and towers and battlements with pure gold, Gone. and the streets of Jerusalem shall be paved with um, burial and car buckles and stones of over, 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 over. And, um, yeah. say, and all her streets shall say, Alia, and they shall praise him, saying, Blessed be God, which had extolled it forever. Gone. What? Um, 14, uh, 14 and 6. Yeah, yeah, go on. Um, to be 14 and 6. Go on. Say, uh, and all nations shall turn and fear the Lord Yahweh truly. Go on. So all these Eden nations, they're going to turn, turn basically, you know, and serve our power because, you know, in our kingdom, we're going to have the laws them written, you know, you know basically in our part according to what the scripture say, Right? So we are going to teach these Eden nations our ways. Right? So even them are going to stop follow for them idols that they must serve right now. Right? Sister so Pastor, read again, brother. So all, all and all nations shall turn and fear the Lord Yahweh truly. Gone. And shall bury their idols. So they must go bury them idols that they must serve right now. Them Buddha, you know. Shiva. You name them. But these Eden nation are worship. They're not going to serve it in our kingdom. Right? One. So shall all nations praise the Lord, Gun. and his people shall confess Yahweh, and the Lord shall exalt his people. Gun. And all those which love the Lord Yahweh in truth and justice shall Gun. rejoice, Gun. Um, showing mercy to our brethren. Gun. Gun. Uh, give me um, Isaiah, Isaiah, no. Isaiah 60 and verse 10. That bring out two. I go ahead, I'll, I'll give me two. So one. Isaiah two one verse one. Go it on. says the word of the word of. It says the word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Go on. Which is about southern kingdom and northern kingdom. Zin. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the of the mountains. Go on. And and shall be exalted above the hills. Go on. And all nations shall flow unto it. So all nations are going to flow unto it. Go on. See? And many people shall go and say, um, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. Go on. To the house of, of the God of Jacob. To the God of Jacob. Um, um, of Jacob. And he will teach us of yeah. his ways. Go on. And we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Gone. Exactly. That means that all nations are going to learn what? The righteousness of the Lord, man. Gone. See? They might learn the laws. And who not, uh, who not want to keep it? Mm -hmm. See? Gone. Yeah. Continue. See? And he shall judge among the nations Gone. and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into into pl into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. So they're gonna go basically go back up, go back to the original way of doing farming. Gun. 
Right? Because you know, in, you know, in this time, you know, a lot of these countries, you know, been planting, you know, um, east side them, you know, um, man's uh, Monsanto crops. Right? Then we have certain things that have come with, you know, for basically, um, you know, plant these seeds so them can come, you know, and bear and go right way. You know, but in our kingdom, we're going to go back to the right way how things are supposed to be done now because we now have these you know hybrid seed and these things in our, in our kingdom you know, and the current land let them go basically rejuvenate them you're talking about well nourished yes. man yeah. you're talking about well nourished so so all the curse we you know, fall land right now all, all these things are going basically you know um, done away with you so you know, everything are going to refresh as you mentioned yeah, you know if it's the whole back chemical with them called fertilizer you have fertilizer uh, your food and yeah. spray for spray all this and spray that and everything are going to be everything are going to be in a clean clean state See? right way it says, right. nation shall not lift up sword against nation. So after this third reservoir destruction we prepare right now, right before we eyes, this is how the scriptures say happen after what? Nation is going to lift up sword against nation. So there's going to be no more war. Mm -hmm. This third reservoir destruction is going to be what? The war for end all war, not World War I. World War III is a war for end all war, according to what written in the scripture. Go on. And neither shall they learn war anymore. Go on. See? You want more? Yeah, okay. It says, it says O house of Jacob, Come here and let us walk in the light of the Lord. Go on. Yeah. Go on. Give me Isaiah 60 and 10 now. It's the book of Isaiah 60 and verse 10. Go on. It says, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, Go on. and their kings shall minister unto thee. So then kings, I will minister, so I will serve us. So then I will pick up the best of the best of them crap. Come give us you. Go on. Right, bring gifts, come give us. Right, going back, you know, during the time, you know, a, a king, King David, right, to Solomon, all these nations are tributary unto us. Right, you have the queen, Queen of Sheba, it brings basically a lot of things come give Solomon back then. Right, it are even more better in you know, the kingdom to come because these nations are going to be tributary unto us. Yeah. Okay. Right, then we go back to the, the right way. Of being our servant because it was created to serve us. That's right. Right? So they're going to basically bring the best of them best, come give us in the kingdom to come. Go on. Mm -hmm. It says, um, again, and the sons of strangers shall, shall build up thy walls, Go on. and their kings shall minister unto thee, Go on. for in thy wrath I smote thee. Go on. So the scripture says, Yahweh Shemir Shai said, In thy wrath I smote thee. So the things that we got through throughout history coming up is the what? The wrath. And they will fire the Lord all all Yahweh Bashim Shai righteous indignation. Right? So he said in wrath, he smote us. Yeah. Right? Go on. But in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Say so in favor you have mercy on thee. Because our power is a merciful power. And a mercy you have upon us right now where we receive in this truth, you know, in these times. Go on. Mm. It says, Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. Go on. They shall not be shut. Day or night, Gone. that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, Gone. and that their kings may be brought. See? And, yeah. See? See? For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee. So, all the, any, one of these, any one of these nations, these Eden nations, no one to follow our ways. Right now, one do no, uh, what we are supposed to do. So, the scripture says, Come to them. Right? Because they're going to be what? Righteous, a new royal order, yeah. new, uh, new royal order, which is going to be a righteous royal order, yeah. which is ruled by how she has mentioned. Go on. A dictatorship and yeah. a righteousness. Go on. Yeah. And so it says, For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee Go on. shall perish. Shall perish. Go on. Yea, those nations shall utterly shall be utterly waste. Go on. They don't want to follow our ways in the kingdom to come. They're going to get destroyed. Thus say the Lord, you are worshiping and shine. All right, you scripture? This is Zechariah 8, verse 20. Um, Thus say the Lord of hosts, it shall, it shall yet come to pass that there shall come um, that there shall come people and the inhabitants of many cities and the inhabitants of, yeah, and the inhabitants of one city shall yeah. go to another saying, let us go speedily to pray before the Lord and to see the Lord of hosts. Say, I will go also. Yea, 
many people and strong nations shall come up to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem Son. and pray before the Lord. Right? Um, Thus said the Lord of hosts, in those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold of um, take hold out of all languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, Son. saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that Yahweh is with you. Son. Right, so these nations are looking for us right now. Right, this is our God, this is the kingdom to come. Right. Look, they must look up they must to us. Look up to us. They must look down upon us right now. Right, they despise us now. But when the kingdom they come, they must go basically look up to us. It's telling us in a revelation. Uh, revelation, um, I think a revelation um, 12, uh, 11, 11, 19. Said they, they, say, say they, they rejoice and send gifts one to another. Yeah. Go on. So these two prophets torment them. Right? Up, um, even a lamentation. They say, this is the day that we certainly look for. You can't bring out one alimentation, brother. Bring out one alimentation. We can't find our elevation 10. Ah, left and 10. Two closer. Alimentation, how much are you talking about? 250, 250. Ah, yeah. What? It says, um... Lamentation 2 and 15 God. says, It says, All that pass by clap their hands at thee, God. they is and wag their, their head at, at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty? God. The joy of the whole earth? The joy of the whole earth. The scripture says, We are the salt of the earth. God. Right, go on. We are getting back, we are getting back, we are getting back that state there, man. God, that's where I read earlier. We are going to be that, we are going to be, we are going to be, we are going to be that perfect city. God. Perfect. Zin, city God. of righteousness. God. Zin, all thine enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They is and, and gnash the teeth. They say, we have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we look for. God. We have found um, we have found, we have seen it. Can't. So this is the day they look for. Right? When they have the office basically on the down low. Right? Bring on our brother, Revelation. This is Revelation 11 verse 10. Can't. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice so for them. Can't. And make merry and shall send gift one to another. Can't. Be, um, saying. Be, not saying anything. What? Um, because these two, pe these two, two prophets, prophets tormented them. Talking about what the southern kingdom and in other kingdom, right? Especially, you know, during the time of you know, King Solomon, when we have all yeah. these nations tributary unto us, right? Them so we basically a torment them in time, right? So now they get the chance, they afflict us. The scripture says, the brother will answer what? Certainly, this is the day they look for, when they can afflict us. In Zechariah, say what? At 1 and 15, said, the Lord said, was a little displeased, and them held far with our affliction, because they glad they afflict us. Right, go on. It's, um and shall send gift one to another God. because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. God, exactly. Right, can I ask you, brother? Mm. Uh, give me a um, sit there, close after that. Give me a um, uh, Job 20, and verse uh, 32 of the quarter earlier. Bring down a close. Job 20, verse 22. Verse 22, it says, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Job 20 and 22, it says, In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straight. God, so say, in the fullness of his sufficiency, you know, the banking leads, right, call shrubs, you know, basically a plan this great reset. Right, as I mentioned earlier, and they're going to be a, a reset. It's going to be like basically a reset. But not the one way, you know, call shrub and the elites, you know, from the head right okay. on down planning. Right? Because what the matter? All I want to do, all of my plan right now is just to basically fulfill this prophecy. Right? So you can say in the fullness of his sufficiency. Right? Go on, brother. He shall be in straight. He shall be in straight. He shall be in a position of difficulty. Go on. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Talking about, you know, um, the wicked. Let's go back to the, um, the Hebrew word, Iman, which means laborer. Go on. Go on. 
when he's about to fill his belly. So when these banking elites, you know, we see them putting things into place right now, you know, they accomplish them NWO. But well, the scripture tell us what to happen. Right? Because everything was basically written. Everything predestined to basically take place. Right? And it's a part of the script. This agenda where see Isa Edom, call Shab and all them are basically Yuval all them are do. A part of the script. Right? So they're gonna reach that level. I can't what written in the scripture. So the scripture says when there is a bow to fill his belly, when you're about to accomplish the new world order, this is what's gonna happen. Or them gonna reach, reach that point. One? Alright, um, when he is about to fill his belly, One? God shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. How about Shemir shall cast what? The fury of his wrath upon him. One? And shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So you have a, how about Shemir shall say, I'm gonna rain it upon him while he's eating. One? He shall flee from the iron weapon. So they might go flee to them bunkers, go hide. And them, the, one? And the bow of steel shall strike him through. And the bow of steel uses the ICBM missiles them. Where you see Russia and all his countries right now. You know, have. Gun. Right, go on. Yeah. So it, it is drawn and come out of it of the body. It come out of what? A nuclear silo. One? Yeah, the glittering sword come out of his gall. Gun. Um terrors are upon him. All darkness shall be all darkness shall be hid in his secret places. Gun. A fire and a blow shall consume him. Gun. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. Gun. So all the way he saw him this is basically fulfill prophecy because they're gonna be a righteous kingdom, right? A new world heart of righteousness ruling by our Lord and Savior Yahushua. That's gonna basically take place. But right? I can't do what written in the scripture. Right, so with that, I say all praises and honor unto you. Bashim, Yahushim, Bashim, Bakar, Kodash. And double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Men's Stone. Shalom to all the brothers and there, you know, pushing the truth. You know, as in certain and all honesty. You know, I hope this lesson was edified unto the elect. Right, because all about the elect. Right, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.